San Diego Comic Con is the largest multi-genre entertainment and comic convention held annually, and every year it becomes a platform for some of the biggest names in the biz to show off upcoming projects. And of course, fans go wild. This year was no different. From reveals to trailer releases to hilarious happenings, SDCC 2018 brought its A-game, despite the absence of Marvel Studios too. So today we're counting down the best moments from San Diego Comic Con 2018. Starting us off in at number 10, Titans Batman. The Teen Titans live action series Titans gave fans a first look with a brand spanking new trailer that featured the likes of Robin, Raven, Beast Boy, and Starfire. While the reviews were pretty mixed, some thought it looked as if it were trying too hard to be edgy. The biggest moment from the trailer featured Robin saying the words, Batman after beating up some criminals in an alleyway. According to Jeff Johns, the Titans are all characters who are quite lost in their lives and come together to be found. They're all dealing with their own personal traumas. And Dick Grayson's personal traumas clearly have to do with his mentor. Up next, number nine, Fantastic Beasts, Ezra Miller. The Warner Brothers panel gave us plenty of new trailers to get hyped about, including one for Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Aside from a bit of controversy over Johnny Depp's appearance at the panel, who gave the audience a speech and character as Grindelwald, the panel also gave us something else that was absolutely absolutely wondrous. Actor Ezra Miller going hard on the cosplay front as Toadette. Ezra, who plays Credence in Fantastic Beasts, will be returning in the film's sequel, and based on the trailer, is looking in much better shape than where we last left off with him. But really, nothing beats how he looks as Toadette. And at number 8, Marvel's Grief Counseling. Marvel Studios may not have been presenting anything this year, but they were still very present at the convention in other ways. Now, it's no shocker that a lot of people were a tad thrown off by the ending of Marvel's Avengers Infinity War film. And, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it yet, you have five seconds to skip ahead before I spoil the entire ending for you. Five, four, three, two. Iron Man dies. Nah, just kidding, he lives. But half of the universe dies thanks to Thanos snapping. Seriously, I hope you guys who haven't seen it clicked away. Sorry if you didn't. Thanos getting his hand on all of the Infinity Stones meant that his wish of balancing the universe came true. And in the process, that meant a lot of our favorite characters were killed off. Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, and Black Panther to name a few. A lot of people were devastated because the film ended with the villain winning. A first for a superhero film, if you're not counting Watchmen that is. So what did Marvel do about it at Comic-Con? Well, they brought an installation that invited fans to enter a room and talk with a group about their favorite MCU moments as therapy, along with getting a donut, a t-shirt, and the chance to watch a deleted scene from the movie. The group session was called Group Hug, and outside the installation there was a bunch of inspirational MCU-themed quotes and a Hulk with extended arms that you could hug. In at number seven, Wonder Woman. Despite only having started principal photography back in mid-June, director Patty Jenkins, Gal Gadot, and Chris Pine were on hand at the Warner Brothers panel to discuss Wonder Woman 1984, and to fans' glee, previewed a rough cut of a scene. The scene which was a Comic-Con exclusive featured Godot's Wonder Woman fighting off some gunmen in a mall, saving a little girl, crushing the guns with her bare hands, then saving the day with the lasso of truth, which was shot in slow motion. Jenkins and Pine were tight-lipped on how exactly his Steve Trevor will be returning into the fray, and Godot noted that the film will be less of a sequel, but more so a new chapter in the character's story. Up next at 6, Godzilla King of the Monsters. While it was no surprise that we would be getting a trailer for the Godzilla sequel film this Comic-Con, what the trailer entrailed is what blew audiences away. This time around, there's a whole a lot of familiar monster faces making an appearance. According to the official synopsis, the new story follows the heroic efforts of the cryptozoological agency Monarch, as its members face off against a battery of god-sized monsters, including the mighty Godzilla, who collides with Mothra, Rodan, and his ultimate nemesis, the three-headed King Ghidorah. When these ancient superspecies, thought to be mere myths, rise again, they all vie for supremacy, leaving humanity's very existence hanging in the balance. And it looks so awesome! The film comes out March 31st, 2019, and it stars Millie Bobby Brown, aka Eleven from Stranger Things. Moving on to number five, Young Justice Outsiders. Young Justice fans have been waiting years for the third season of the show. After it was canceled by the Cartoon Network, fans aggressively petitioned for it to be brought back, and their wish has finally come true, thanks to DC's new subscription-based streaming service, DC Universe. The trailer started off with a glimpse of Artemis looking at a photo of her and Wally, and then dived into what viewers can expect the new season to be about, the group working covertly to stop a meta-human traffic ring that threatens to have greater implications across the globe and the galaxy. Here's hoping that DC Universe will be able to compete with Netflix, and that the show will live on for a fourth season. In at number four, the Shazam trailer. Hey, you know what doesn't look like crap? The new Shazam movie. Thank God. The Shazam movie starring Zachary Levi got its very first trailer, and it looks quite good. The trailer revealed a revised origin story for Billy Batson that slightly differs from the comics, and looks like a really fun time. We didn't see much in the ways of Batson fighting any particular enemies, more so him testing out his new powers, and a bunch of comedic moments, so be on the lookout for a future trailer featuring The Rock's Black Adam. The panel also hinted that Isis and Mary Marvel may be making an appearance in the movie. And at three, Dragon Ball Super Broly. Fans of the Dragon Ball franchise finally got to see the 
trailer for the upcoming movie Dragon Ball Super Broly, which is Broly's first canon appearance in the main Dragon Ball universe. The trailer showed him facing off against the likes of Vegeta, Frieza, and Goku, and was promised to be a reboot for the character, featuring a brand new origin story. Broly was also seen in his base form wearing the high-ranking uniform of Frieza's army, along with his father. But that was something that was already pretty much confirmed based on the concept art that had been released prior to Comic-Con. Up next in our number two spot, Venom. The Sony Pictures panel showed off some more of the upcoming Venom movie to those in the audience, an exclusive new trailer that's yet to make its way online. It featured more of Tom Hardy as Eddie Brock, more of Brock's relationship with the Venom symbiote, and a full-body look of Hardy as Venom, which really looked like it was straight out of the comics, much to many of fans' relief. It was also confirmed that we'll be seeing the symbiote riot in the movie, but we still didn't get any confirmation on whether or not Carnage will be making an appearance. If you're curious about what that exclusive trailer entailed, we have a breakdown of it on our channel, so be sure to head on over there and subscribe. And last but not least, in at number one, Aquaman. Aquaman was perhaps the biggest winner at Comic-Con this year. Not only did we see a trailer for the future film, which included shots of Atlantis and Black Manta that made the crowd go wild, but it was also confirmed that Jason Momoa will be donning the iconic yellow and green suit, based off of its iteration from the New 52 Aquaman comics. A figurine of his Arthur Curry in the suit was shown off during the Wednesday preview night at the con, and those at Warner Brothers panel got a sneak peek at exclusive Comic-Con footage that showed him in the full suit. According to those who were in attendance, the suit isn't as colorful as it is in the comics, but it boasts quite the scaly texture. All right, there we have it, friends. Which of these moments was your favorite? Which surprised you the most? Give us a shout in those comments below and let us know. If you dug this video, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to Top 10 Nerd for all things comics, movies, and nerd culture. From news to lists to updates and so much more. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you on the next video.